Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. We are back with more Everspace 2. And we are now going to try and keep our base hidden. We got three stops we got to go to. Pretty easy stuff. Basically, it's uh, giving us an idea on how all the game mechanics are going to work. So. But I did see in the comments you guys were asking with the settings if you could change a cockpit view. So we've got first person cockpit, first person no cockpit, third person far, which is what I've been using, close. So let's see what this one looks like. Boo! No cock. See, that's the one I. If I want to do anything, I'd probably be this one. Versus. There we go. That's a jump gate. I haven't seen one of those in a while. How far are you guys? They're slowly coming at me. Oh, you're right at me. Okay, I see what's going on here. It's on or off, huh? That's the only thing I changed. See how it raised all of our stuff. You have reached a new level. Each level increases your base stats, structure, firepower, precision, utility, resistance, and expertise, which will give bonuses to your hit points, damage repairs, etc. A detailed breakdown of these stats are and their effects can be found in the ship screen. Device upgrade token, which can be used to unlock a device mode for any of the devices you own. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a fan currently of the devices that I have. I mean, they're they're good enough as is. So. That's the only drawback is that the uh, boost. Oh, no, I don't. That's the wrong one. That's the one I want to use. Okay, that's right. Cruise drive. That's what you do. Found it. It's covered in debris. And its power core fell off. I'll plug it back in. No, keep your distance. Too late. Let's mow them down. Damn. Really, dude? We're scavenger baiting. Outlaws do that a lot. Besides, beanbags don't run on power cores. So, removing the debris should be enough. Alright, I see what it's doing here. Done. First beanie's back online. Excellent. For a proper disappearing act, we need two more. Oops. I thought I threw that a lot further than that. Hmm. Let's see now. Trading outpost.
We haven't done this yet. I definitely want to make sure I showed you guys this. One thing to keep in mind, anything, at least in the old game, if I was to... Come down here and try and take this secure container without permission, they would immediately come after me. Does look like there are a few things here floating around. You almost want to go through and just fly by everything, see what your scanner picks up. Right now, the only thing I want to do is upgrade my weapons and my shields. That is interesting. What does it say? Ghetto Transit Gate Access Denied. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we sneak into that. Bridge Station. We have repair facilities and a storage container with ship parts and provisions. As long as you'll be paying, I am happy to share. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. That way we can sell things. Because over here on this right side. So, same shield as I have. High capacity homing missile. That's probably uh, 195 each. Ooh, a rail gun. I like rail gun. Anything that can give you distance, right? See, look at... Oh, no, it doesn't even really give you all the... No, the pulse laser. Yeah. The rail gun, that's got 3,500. Let's see. Same crappy sensor. Now, one thing you are probably going to want to buy, and I know I'm going to, are the cargo units. Because it adds more slots to your ship. We got four more. A cargo unit enables you to dismantle equipment. Dismantling equipment will give you crafting resources that can be used to craft or modify an item. You will also receive crafting XP of the respective rarity needed to unlock blueprints. To craft an item, a craft on an empty cargo slot to modify. Okay. energy core okay it doesn't tell you how to, to start it though right see and it won't let me uh, break things down that's weird No, I don't want scattered gun. I already have an auto cannon, right? Yeah. Not a fan of auto cannons. What is this? Armor. Yeah, we'll throw that on. Ooh, okay. I just wanted to equip it. All right. Starting a 
plating item gives your ship armor. It protects against energy damage and is a second layer of protection after your shield has been depleted. This condition of the installed plating item directly corresponds to the armor hit point ratio. Once it reaches zero, the, the whole of your ship will become vulnerable. Okay. Easy enough. Let's see, I don't think I need this. Or that. That. I'm gonna keep those crystals. Should probably keep the scrap next time too. Uh, in the old game, you would use crystals and scrap to repair your armor and other such things. That's a new one. Teleporter. Then we got dark matter. That I sure is a crafting item. All right, and we're good. Oops. All right, so let's see, what is this? Cedo Outer Rim, all right. Let's go there next. How did you ever end up in a place like this? Originally, I was stationed in the Ethan system. As part of our rear guard subunit. We did some scouting missions, but really not much else. How many were you? Around 12. Some died, some became outlaws. Two pals and I got out before the war got really ugly. This is where we ended up. Feels like the edge of the universe. It isn't, but if you squint, you can see it from here. Interesting thoughts. Fully charge your ship ULT. ULTs are special ship abilities that can activate to unleash a mighty offensive or defensive power. They're usually charged by shooting down enemies and have to be used. Okay, have to be charged again. Not to waste on a single enemy, but at the same time, don't save it too long. All right. Maybe worth checking out. Wow. Yeah, baby. God, there's enough ships at me. I can't even move. There we go. Jeez, why are there so many? Ooh, I won't let that sensor see something like that. You never know, it could be something good. Ooh. Wrong button, let's try that one. Okay, all right, and what do we got here? Compared to the other, it's a little better. Oh, oh. reach level three, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here? 3.8. Oh, look at that. You can do it from the cockpit. I just hadn't tried. I'm trying to figure out how to get... Set my stuff off here on the right. Oh, how do I stop that? That was not meant. Oh, that was my super boost. Oh, B. There we go. All right, jeez. Okay. Green used to be kind of a problem before. Whoa.
Uh, the war's over, you're on your own. Ooh. Yeah, thanks, you're privileged bastards. Your car blew up Elmon Station, and suddenly all you five-star cowards can talk about is a truce and how this war was just one big mistake. Well, no scrap. We sure made a lot of people die for it. Yeah, sounds like a typical. Looks like the pilot never made it back to his freighter. Uh, it may still even be there. Ooh, we might have to do that. The Flying Duchess is there. Where? Oh, okay. Where's the, the beanie thing? See, so you always want to explore. Ooh, this does not look good. Because the little red things tend to be... Yeah. Oh. Well, that could be around that. Output, but crappy shield stuff. Okay, well, we'll sell it. Anytime you see dead ships. That looks like an old mining thing. Oh, here's something. And the music starts. There we go. Not a fan of the, uh... Alright, let's go see what this lady's got for us. Um, not a fan of the... Gun that they have. That's a lot of bombs up here. Is the distractor hidden in a giant shipwreck surrounded by mines? I do remember a wreck. It's been a while since we had the beanies out there. Question is, how good can you see the mines? How close can you get before they damage you? Now, the old mines would... Uh, track onto you? Oh, it doesn't set them off. blown up but I don't see where this stupid little thing is So I got the power core, what am I supposed to do with it? Oh, 
Mine launcher, huh? Nanobot large, that's always a good thing. Bet you there's one on the other side too. Here? Found it. It's infested with hydras. That could explain the weak signal. See what the flying duchess has to say for me. Whoop, wait a minute. There's stuff over here. Oh, there is. Nice. Better nothing. All right, let's go see what this lady has to say. Should be interesting. Oh, would you look at that? Customer or outlaw? customer, I guess. But can't you be both? Not here at the Flying Duchess, you can't. I operate an honest business. I see. Say, you look like you could handle yourself very well in a situation. Are you up for some challenges? Hunting outlaws in a more creative way. I'll even throw in some reward for you. What do you <laughs> say? Let me take a look. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I'm not a fan of doing stuff like this. So we'll, we'll just pass. Oop, there we go. Sell that. I'm going to keep the blaster and the mines. That's the gun we had in the first one.
How's that supposed to be a good deal? Auto cannon. Never hurts to have backup. Yeah, that's what I'm always wondering about if we're gonna, because like I say, we used to use that for repairs and in the other games, so. But I think I'll buy the coil. get these uh things yet i'm sure we'll figure it out quick restock oh i think we're good Alrighty, folks, so we're going to go to the undiscovered jump site next in the next episode. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Keep hitting that like button. Let me know you guys want to see more of this, and we'll just keep going with the story mission. See what happens. As always, keep your heads down. Your ships up and all. See you again real damn soon.